The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 15, Nasdaq's up 51, S&P's up 5.5, gold. Gold contract flat, 19.49 an ounce. You get silver cotter bids up 77 cents, 60, $26.76 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat. $42.61 a barrel notes and bonds. You get the 10 year flat, 139.06. The 30 year down three ticks at 178.22. And notes and bonds, folks, bottom line, you're going to get a rejection of lower price out here today. Two days ago, you get down hard. Yesterday, you came down with lighter volume in a big way. Today's much lighter, and you already have a rejection of price. So you can expect a note and bond market once again, higher price, lower yield, flattening out, going right back to March. King dollar, giving it up. Now, it's going to be really interesting with King Dollar. It's had every chance in the last 10 days to get higher. Every time it keeps failing, you're coming down with some velocity out here today. Down 475, 92, 968. The euro is going topside, 118. The yen is going downtown, getting stronger at 106.78. And the British pound is going topside at 131 to 1 U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? There's a lot going on, man. We see green all over the board. What's it? I'm going to get my recording ready. Green all over the board, right near record in the S&P and the, the NASDAQ. Why not, man? No doubt. Let's get no over doubt. to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, TD Ameritrade. Think of Swim as we do it every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, Kevin and his team, outstanding program, every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you want to understand the option market, option strategies, futures, great program. If you haven't test driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, it's so easy to do, folks. Just you're on our website, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money each and every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, th th this is, uh, we got a heavyweight battle setting up here, looking at the all time highs in the S&P and you know, do we have enough catalysts? Was that jobless claims number enough catalyst to get us through that number? We opened up, I would say, on the soft side, and now we're just, you know, there, it's, we're awfully hesitant. The NASDAQ obviously is of about three-quarters of a percent, but the uh, rest of the markets, the S&P and uh, the Dow, pretty hesitant up at these levels. Yes, and, you know, folks, yesterday, I mean, you know, the bottom line is that Kevin and his team, they set up great strategies. If you really want to understand how options work, option strategies, great program. Uh, when I was talking, we were talking with Kevin yesterday, the bottom line is that uh, we were talking about what's going to be on the program and what ended up being on the program. Uh, Kevin, you and Tommy actually got somewhat similar trade in Lyft here. <laughs> so right. when I was listening to your program, so tell us what you did with Lyft yesterday. Well, Lyft, we acknowledged that Lyft was not Uber, yes. right? And Lyft wasn't going to get that bounce because there's no Lyft Eats, right? And yes. that positive part of Uber's earnings was, was, was food delivery. Right. Well, Lyft doesn't do that. So we knew that that stock was, had a chance to be range-bound because they were probably going to guide positive. Yeah. But the numbers were still going to be horrible, right? There was really no way to hide from that. Right. And they didn't have that positive part. So what we did, we did a range-bound trade, meaning the iron condor. Yeah. But what we did was we skewed it to the short side. So we gave ourselves a little less room on the upside of the range yep. and a little more room on the downside of the range. So we, get, we did the fundamental trading strategy of an iron condor, but we skewed it. We put a little attitude on the trade, giving us a little room. And now here we are, down about 5.5% and lift, and we're well within our strikes right. in that price. So it's, it's right where we hoped and thought it might go. And so we should be sitting on a nice little profit here at, uh, uh, on the lift trade. You know, what, you know what's so cool about this, folks, is that, so picture this. 
as Kevin said, and as, as Tommy said, and we all, we all knew, that Uber had already come out. So the information right. was actually in the marketplace. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to make money on the trade, folks, okay? But what does happen, as Kevin sets up the strategy, and then you have the fundamental information of what's going on, that just brings your probability up much higher. And I remember, Kevin, like when the banks always come out, you know, I, I watch how your trades go then. It's really cool, man, because, you know, the first banks come out. Well, guess what? It gives you that information of what's going to happen with the next bank. So when you put those strategies together with the fundamentals, man, it's pretty cool, man. There's no doubt. Right. What we identified, even though Uber had bad numbers with a positive uh, outcome in terms of the overall Uber Eats revenue, yes, it still sold off 10% right. after that earnings day. Right. So there, you always had to be cognizant of softness in, uh, in Lyft. So even though we did a range-bound strategy, we skewed it to the downside, allowed the volatility to come out, allowed decay to come out. It goes off the, off the uh, board tomorrow, and we should have a pretty substantial uh, gain there. Yeah. And, Tom, this is where the decay comes in in a big way, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to listen to the show yesterday, but in my newsletter, Kevin, similar deal, man. Um, you know, a, a bearish trade capitalizing on some volatility out there with a, a credit spread above the market. And I said, you know, w what are the odds that, that Lyft, on the heels of Uber, on the heels of the decision in California, right, to talk about some right. headwinds, um, that, that they could trade up? dramatically on their numbers i you know anything can happen as we all know but i didn't see that as a realistic possibility in this morning yeah they're down five percent at a time and uber's up six tenths percent um today so quite a divergent in those two companies and and what right. happens folks okay if you if you haven't seen kevin's show yet what, what happens is this is that on the thickest one platform as you're setting that trade up you can actually see what the percentage is that you may win or may lose and that is really cool, folks. And, you know, sometimes like uh, on, on your tra trade, Tommy, I believe it was, what, 75 percent. But the bottom line, you were putting three dollars up to make one. Right. You so know? I had sold I sold a 33 call and you bought the 34 call. So you got about a, uh, a credit of twenty five dollars a contract and you were risking 75. You know, if that right. thing plows somehow to thirty four dollars by the close of tomorrow. Um but, geez, talk about a huge move, you know. Now, just to add into it, and, and part of it is because I was bearish, and, you know, you can always make a simple trade. You say, ah, maybe I'll buy a put. You know, maybe I think it's going. Well, if you wanted to buy a put yesterday, it was almost a 5% move just for a directional. You know, you could have, and you'd break even. You could have bought a put at the money, money for a dollar exactly. fifty. And you break even today because it only moved a dollar fifty to the downside, man. Um, so that's where that, that strategy and those strategies, like Kevin talked about, man, they're just awesome. Yeah, that's where the big and, and deal. Tommy, what you just focused on there is the mistake that a lot of first-time or young option traders make, and that is they look at the direction. I think I'm. It, I think it may be bearish. I'm going to buy a put. The yeah. most important aspect to trading options is the understanding of implied volatility, and that's what. You have to take advantage of that. We're putting and I've that learned quote, that from you, Kevin. We I are, love it, man. Exactly. We're putting that quote right on the front page of TFNN. Totally. I love that quote. It's huge, man. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Have a great weekend, man. We look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks, man. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 54, Nasdaq's up 44, S&P's up 3.5. And, a half. and uh, hey, Tom, what about, uh, so this is pretty wild, folks, okay? Uh, Apple, okay? So I don't have the number. I've been trying to find the number that they're going out on the market today, but this is just amazing. I it, saw you uh, send that over with a little bit of commentary to me this morning, and uh, go for it, yeah. It's unbelievable, folks, okay? Apple is basically going out in the debt market this morning. Now, I haven't found the, the amount, okay? Uh, but it's amazing. They're sitting on hundreds of millions, or billions. Billions. Or billions, billions. okay? Billions. And they're still going out in the debt market because Why debt is so inexpensive. <laughs> exactly, man. It's almost free. Oh, it's, 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 I mean, it really is. Right. Compared so, to a company... Like Apple. Now, Apple's so big, right? You're not, I mean, you better be a technology company and growing for Apple for the multiples they're probably at. Um, but man, it's not like they're, they're you know, a, a slow dividend oil company, you know? I mean, they, they, they should probably be able to make a return greater than what the market is charging right now to borrow money. That, it, that's exactly it. That, and yeah. that, that's the key to understand, folks, is that what's happening with all their cash they are making more than they can borrow with all that cash, <laughs> okay? I love the last line of it, too. It says, like almost all of Apple's bond sales, it will use the money to buy back stock and pay dividends among corporate purposes. Amazing, right? It's just right? crazy. It is, yeah. yeah. So, hey, what, what's go, what do we have on, going on with this uh, natural gas velocity trade? Here, let's pull this I thing. don't know, man. They were talking about it in the den earlier. Eight. Which is how it came on my radar. Um, and so this is a natural gas ETN by Credit Suisse. They stopped servicing it, I think. Um, I'll try and see if I can find the article because I was doing a little research just myself when so I. So, and this is where these ETNs, folks, are just so dangerous. It's sick. Now, this one in particular is not traded, uh, it's over the counter only. So, this one is an anomaly, okay? Um, and they really almost, the articles I was reading at, uh, maybe we can tease it and come back to it because 
they 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 didn't end it. They just stopped like servicing it. So there's no new shares that are produced. So the thing went way away from net asset value, and people probably. So the high probably, was fifteen thousand today. Yeah, I think it made it up to twenty four thousand at one point. And and, uh, the, and and yesterday it was at three thousand. The day before it was nine hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, really, it was at like four hundred before the run started. Um, <laughs> Good old natural gas, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's it. Uh, that that one. Um, okay, let so here, let, let me pull up. So I just found an so, article from the street, and I think this is what I was looking at. So why did? And, and, D, and listen, you know, the market cap on this was. Oh well, hold it. No, this was at that price. No. Uh, so so let's let's read it. it. Says why did DGAZF go from four hundred to twenty four thousand in just a few days? So part of what they talk about was. This is the Velocity Shares daily three times inverse natural gas, okay? So it's inverse natural gas in as little as a few days. It goes from 400 to 24,000. It's back at 13,000. So what happened is, is that back in June, Credit Suisse decided to delist its suite of ETNs in order to, quote, better align its product suite with its broader strategic growth plans. So this person, whoever's writing this right now, the problem is that they didn't actually close the note altogether. They merely delisted it, which is the equivalent of just letting it die a slow death since it got moved to the OC OTC market and became DGAZF. It's still available to trade, but very thinly traded, susceptible to all kinds of quirks. Um, and you look at the net asset value they talk about in here, man. I mean, just staggering. We bring this up on our show sometimes on some of those GBTC, right? You got to be careful when you're trading anything and it gets stupid away from the net asset value. And when you get into OTC ETNs, yeah, right. I bet that's just insanity, right? As we see in this, this case. Is, this is where the SEC is not doing their job, too. I mean, it's, it's, there's no way that that should be able to happen. I mean, that's, it, it's, it's just so outlandish. It's unbelievable, actually. It's, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, what ended up happening is you had, in other words, some traders willing to pay 3500 bucks for roughly $120 of assets. When it starts pushing 27 times, it's net asset values. Um, <laughs> you're not producing any more shares. Um, and it's just drifting in the OTC market, they still make fees on the notes. So perhaps that's part of the reason, but you're essentially going to abandon it. You're doing a disservice to investors who happen to stumble upon it, or, you know, and that's, that's so I agree. So craziness, man, buyer beware. You really got to, OTC, you better be aware if you're, you're trading off an exchange, right? Why isn't something on an exchange if that's so? Yeah. Now, this is pretty sad. You know, you, you were right, meaning that we, we're showing 15,000 here, but there's a Bloomberg that's just popped up just now. That it traded to twenty five thousand, yeah. And and uh, listen, the, this is uh, this is gonna be a scandal, man. Um, <laughs> people are facing margin calls to cover the sharp position. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine. Like, <laughs> I, I, it's it's like this is, yeah. This is off you the know, charts, it's... man. I mean, I don't know why someone would be shot. It's something like that, but you know, we know how this goes, man. It can, I mean, it can what happen. it probably was is they were short because of the net asset value. Yeah, right, right. But guess what? If you're buying, you're shorting something that's 27 times the net asset value. Who's to say it can't go to 270 times the net asset value? Oh, They're yeah. all just ridiculous, you know. Right. Well, um, it, just, it just went to 6,000 times. <laughs> that's it. You know, it's it's you, you got to feel for those people. But in the same respect, greed is horrible, man. Yeah. And you know what? You're playing with fire when you shorten an over the counter discontinued ETN that's trading at 27 times its net asset value. OK, you want the payoff for when that thing goes down 27 times its value. Um, well, there's a lot of risk that comes with trying to ace, you know, returns like that, and this is the case. So wow, yeah, that is something else, man. So let's let's tease to that to natural gas, man. We got inventories coming up in five minutes. What uh, what oh. are we looking at on the whisper? Can let's you give us a teaser? This. Oh my god. And natural gas, man. We've had some nice movement to the oh, upside yeah. off of those lows. Um, nothing like DGAZF, but okay. Uh, we're the, uh, the our entries closed, unfortunately, but let's yeah. see. 57 is the whisper number, 56 is the survey number. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, quite a pop, right? Even you're back, and I got it back going about 20 days, but, I mean, huge moves from 160 to 284. The lower, I think, was back to 144. Um, some of these commodities, man, I mean, you got gold up five bucks, but silver, how about silver up like 85 pennies, man? Uh, yeah, silver's silver got a bit. You know, now, it's so weird, Tom, about the, the aspect of what we're talking about here is that 
That was the shot position, right? It was three times the shot position, right? Wasn't it? Yes, inverse, uh, triple inverse. Uh, triple inverse, and yet natural gas is up, and that went up too. So that's even an anomaly. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hadn't even done that one in my head. I think I just said, oh, yeah, that's right. It's exacerbated. No, it's just, not, it's just craziness, right? It's and, not even well, making sense. Guess what? Okay, what Tommy just said there, right, folks, that's why you want to get rid of, get those things off your screen. Yeah. Because you shouldn't have to think about no. that, all of that. If you want to do mental catalytics in something that is so bizarre, that is not the way to, number one, have a good head, number two, to basically have discipline, and number three, to make any money in the marketplace. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow Industrials are down 50. The Nasdaq's up 71. S&P's up 6.5. Gold's up 650. Silver's up 95 cents. <coughs> King dollar, folks. Get the peanut butter and jelly out. Get the cream cheese out. It's toast. Down 500. 92. 940. Hey folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, boy, they nailed this one, Tom. Natural gas uh, rose 58 BCF. Okay, usually pretty close in line, and they peg it right there. And uh, natural gas popping a bit, actually. We were at about 217. We're at 219, two pennies, just like that to the upside. Yeah. Um, so the market liking that as the trend continues upward. How about that? 
Haven't said that in a while. The trend continues upward in natural gas, man. Yep, no doubt. So yeah. let, let's go take a look at that dollar. So the, the dollar, folks, okay, uh, the bottom line, you've been building cars for lower price, hasn't been able to hold price. Uh, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. You know, it had every right. So, so the first pop on the dollar, folks, uh, gets all the way back to, uh, I can't see the date there. Bottom line is that it was about two weeks ago. You got up to uh, 93,991. Yesterday, we got to 93,905 and you failed. Uh, what we got out here today is that uh, you go south and uh, bottom line is that you're going south uh, with, some, with some volume, well, with some price. I, what happens on the dollar, folks, is that we don't get volume because it, it trades at so many uh, different venues. That's, that's the bottom yeah. line. You know, what you can look at, okay, which is pretty cool, is that, you know, we, we go to look at the euro. You're going to see the euro here. Uh, bottom line, uh, going topside in spades. The euro can be a very large ABC structure on the way up. I mean, had a very small pullback. We're at 118 right now. And your next level on the euro, man, is up there at uh, 125. You know, so that's game. We go to the British pound, and I believe that's going to be game at 142. You're at 131. When I say game, mean, meaning where the next swing is, folks. Well, actually, the, the next swing on the... Yeah, one third. One, well, well, this will be interesting. With the pound is one thirty-two, but with there, yeah. But you broke the whole. Yeah, see if we break one thirty-two, yeah, one forty-three is game. So big numbers, man. No doubt. You know, some. I was just going to jump to some of the Fang stocks real quick, man. Talk about a rocket ship. Apple's up one point five percent. All-time highs today. We should get a recording of that going, just so we can hit the button on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, you got Amazon, not quite all-time highs, but Amazon's up 1.6% today, basically right at that level that it's been touching at, just above 3,200. Um, remarkable, man, these stocks just continue. Microsoft up about half a percent. You got Netflix shares up 1.2%. They pull back a bit. Tesla shares, how about it continuing the run up another 5%, man? I mean, they just went from the close of... Tuesday, I had to recalibrate my brain because you're at 1374 and we're at 1635, man. <laughs> I know. And, you know, it, uh, listen, Tesla also, folks, has a high volume high. It's going to go after it. That's 1794. <laughs> it's like, OK, man, it is. Man. You know, this is, is really like a kind of a classic. I mean, it's hard to comprehend. You know, we know how high it's already gone. But guess what? That leg there had big volume. You pull back with nothing. Like, there's no yeah. sell. It's like, OK, here we go again. So it's it's amazing. Let's go to uh, our man, Steve in Nashville. Hey, Steve, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, I think you're a, a black coffee drinker, maybe, so I got that for you. And, Tommy, I don't know if you're a hazelnut kind of guy or not. I like it. I, you know what I brewed this morning, Steve? Some hazelnut What's coffee. That? So there you go, man. That's I love funny. it. Oh, my God. I swear to God. It's good. There we go. Perfect. That's awesome. yeah, you, you can see me on the um, on TNT. I'm the, I'm the new psychic in town. Perfect. Perfect. I like Nothing it. Nothing better I than like some it. good coffee in the morning, so, man. Yeah. There we go. I'm looking at the MOS, and I know the world needs uh, fertilizer, and this is a big one. Um, did it? Do you think it can reach the um, late oct late um, 2019 level, which is what 33 or something? I don't know. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So you got Mosaic, folks. The low is 650, the high is 2318. Monster company. Uh, bottom line is that uh, revenue-wise, here we're talking uh, 8.3 billion a year, two point. Uh, well, this is, gets interesting. So, so picture, and this is what I'm looking for. I mean, I, I own the stock right now. So the $2 billion they did last quarter. They're looking for $2.4 billion next quarter. Now, next year, they're not looking for, well, it's, it's, it's close. It's 1.9, 2.2 per 90 days, 2.7. Um, what intrigued me about this, folks, more than anything, was that when the fertilizer stocks can price up product like so fast, it's unbelievable. Because farmers need product across the world every quarter. That's where this comes down to, depending where you are, depending what the planting season is. I, I like right. this trade, Steve. Um, I like it for the aspect that you absolutely, not only, you know, saying that, yeah, we can, you know, get up there to, you're looking for how much, 34? Well, yeah, the, the late uh, 2018, excuse me, not 19, 2018, okay. so, which was uh, 34, 5. What, we're at 17. Yeah. I'm looking for 22 first. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. But what we definitely sure. did do is that, let me bring this back. We broke this downtrend 
that has been in place since, uh, uh, why is my chat doing this? There we go. Let's do it this way. Yeah, since November of 2018. And that November of 2018 is that 37 price, po price point. So you broke yeah, that in yeah. spades, man. I mean, this is how, if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, this is how you like to break a trend. Monster price spread with an acceleration of volume. And then if you yeah, take this... A, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Because uh, on a five-year five monthly, you can see it's... Uh, starting to trend upward, especially the, the MACD on a monthly. It, it is. And yeah. if you know Great. anything about the phosphate business, folks, um, the bottom line is that farmers can't live without it. <laughs> that's that's exactly, the bottom yeah. line. And this company here, we did this yesterday, but what, wait to see the, the amount of sales they have. In, okay, so in North America, they own 75% of the phosphate production and 35% of potash. In the world, they hold 15% of phosphate and 10% of potash. I mean, it's, it's, it's a monster, man. And, you know, this is where folks seeing a few cycles is helpful because I, I remember in 2000, we had a lot of these companies. In 2011, you had less of them. They, there's only three or four big companies now. And guess what? They, they, this is the food business, man. It's like, okay, you know, and that's telling me yeah. also that, listen, man, you know, we get inflation kicking in here. I think this, this, the commodity business in general, I think we're going to see higher prices, man. So. Yeah, and, and that screen you have up right now with the overview. Yes. Oh, you just, yeah. The no, no, I'll get it. I'll put it right back. Yep. Yeah. The very last sentence is, uh, says 75% of the, um, Activity, I guess, or sales are uh, international. Yes. Nice. Yeah. It's good. Okay. It, you can't. Well, this is what ends up happening. This is the, the thing to wrap your head around. Per, like, we, we don't have as many farmers in the Tiger's Den right now, but we used to have a lot of them. And they taught me flat out per acre, right? This is the type of nutrients that it can make a difference because they're always on tight margins. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is the difference between you getting a hundred bucks or something and $120. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot when you're talking about 50,000 acres. That's, that's how this works. Do you know what I mean? So. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you very much for your time, guys. I appreciate it very much. Always a pleasure, man. Thanks, Steve. Have a great yeah, one, man. Bye. Have a safe one. Dow. Dow Industrials down 76. Nasdaq's up 115. S&P's are up six and a half. Gold's up 11.50. Uh, silver's up 95 cents. And King Dollar's down 4.20. Coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 71. Nasdaq's up 88. S&Ps are off six and a half. Uh, let's go inside the uh, Dow, Tom, and see uh, what's uh, putting a little selling pressure on it since these uh, NQ stocks are up, no doubt. Oh, I see yeah. Cisco. Yeah, that makes sense. Cisco, man, got smoked. I got it. Okay. It just so Cisco, smoked, yeah. Man. Cisco's yeah. putting negative 37. United Health 19. Goldman 14. Johnson Johnson 10. Now, you know, powering. The Dow is Apple. Apple was putting 50 positive points. 3M putting a nine and a half. Now, and here's the crazy. Yeah, no, sorry. Can you go back to that screen for a second? Yes. Um, what's crazy is that you very rarely see a $42 stock in the Dow being the biggest leader or drawer back. Yes. And, and if Cisco, which is down 11.42% right now, Right. If that was ever down because the Dow is a price weighted index, which makes zero sense, a big zero. Um, but that's you know, it's like if you ever had Apple moving 11 percent. Right. You would have that stock moving. What would that be? That would be almost 50 to 60 dollars of movement. It would be 10 times now much bigger company market cap. It should. But just wow. highlighting that of how weird the Dow gets when you have a company like Cisco down 12 percent. But it's one of the cheapest stocks in the Dow. Yeah. So not having the effect it might have on something like the S&P or something like that. Even. That's intense, man. Yeah. And, you know, if we go back to Apple, that, you know, Apple, of course, you know, got a huge pop again today. You know, that <laughs> that being it's, it's like, OK, man, uh, and they're going to do subscription bundles. It's like, okay, so what are you going to subscribe? I mean, what? what it's, it's, I agree, man. I, I yeah, it's, yeah. They're going to bundle all their services. I um, subscribe to none of them. <laughs> now, Apple TV, you know, that's obviously doing well, but doing well in terms of not doing as well as Disney, man, not doing as well as Netflix. Um, but they're going to try and package it all called Apple One, um, and that's going to be whether it's talking about. Apple TV, Apple Music. Um, it seems like it's going to be a tough sell, man. They're already struggling with Apple TV to try, to try right, and yeah. get that foothold. And let alone, oh, Apple News is in there, right? Um, yeah, they, they haven't got that together, man. Uh, I don't, yeah. I don't, you know, if you're going to pay for news, um, I'm not going to pay for Apple News, man. You know, I really exactly. love Bloomberg. They have a quality product. They're expensive as can be, even just for and not talking about the Bloomberg terminal, which is like insanity expensive, but right. worth it for the information if you use it. But just to gain access to their news articles, man, right. it's like $30, $40 a month. Right. But it's great information. Apple News, I don't know what they're throwing at me. You know, they're just picking different articles from different people. Sure. And that's not, I'm not going to pay for that type of, so they have yeah. a problem, I think. Um, how about the other story, though, Peloton? Right, that Apple's going to have a new exercise app that's going to compete with Peloton. So you got Peloton trading a bit lower. P T O N is their symbol. Uh, oh, look, I shouldn't talk so quick, man. They were lower until the market opened. Now they're up 1.1 percent. Uh, they were as low as almost 61 dollars pre-market. Hey, Tom. On Tom. 
you know nothing goes down anymore. That's right. Stocks <laughs> one way up. That's right. Man, I know. Crazy. Because remember, uh, we were talking about this. Now. Things change, folks. This is a dynamic world. You better be able to reevaluate things as the world moves. Pre-COVID, uh, I didn't know how Peloton was going to make any money, man. Post-COVID, they're, they're the biggest fanfare out there. But the fact remains, they're selling an exercise bike for $2,000 that you then need to sign up for a recurring billing service to the tune of, what is it, 45 bucks or something like that. It's super replicatable. You know, you can, and, and, and you're seeing the beginning of it with Apple having their own exercise app. Um, and you don't need to, I think, buy the Peloton bike to be able to use the app. There's some functionality there. But if you're just selling an exercise app, that's a business that everybody's in. Um, and you're selling a $2,000 bike, but man, they got a backlog. I, I see people all the time on social media waiting for their Peloton. They post pictures. They're excited when it shows up. When you're locked at home, man, really? they're just perfect. Interesting. Yeah. 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 So there's been a shift there in terms of uh, just perfectly niche with what's going on. People, gyms are closed. You're stuck well, you at know, home. That, it's it's. I can see, I mean, residential real estate, folks, is not stopping. And it doesn't matter no. what city you're in. Or, yeah. Well, it does matter. I mean, New York yes. City is getting hit. But realistically, yeah. I would say on a whole across the nation, it's going up. Um, and you can see why. Because if more people are home, you're using the house more. The, the, and you have to stay in shape. You don't have to. But definitely. people want to no, live definitely. for a while. You know what I mean? So. I mean, the tough part is you're now at the point where you're at can you go into Peloton and their sales? Yes. I'm just curious. You're at, you're at $18.5 billion that company's getting valued at right now. Um, and where are their sales line up? Because a lot of it's going to be future growth, man. Yeah. And and what happens when you sell everybody a bike in the world that wants one? Is is this growth going to continue? You right. know, you're seeing a lot of these companies. that If that, it does, it's pretty phenomenal because yeah. look at this number, man. I right. mean, from last year to this year, even last year, you know, I don't think, well, I definitely couldn't figure this out. They were taking a $915 million, and that seemed like insane. Well, sure. this year, $1.8 billion. So they got something going here, man. <laughs> yes. They're, yes. they're no, growing I... by 102%. <sighs> it's, it's a big number, man. They, now, they're still losing money hand over fist. That's this. That, you know, like, so Brad, check this out. Next year they plan on they have one more quarter of this year. Next year they plan on taking 2.7 billion and they still plan on losing money. <laughs> yeah. So, they get a they get a long way to go. They better uh, that's I mean the tough part is that if you have a real competitor that comes in and it's not going to be an Apple having their app and that that could hurt them for sure. The market's saying not so much as it's positive today. Um, but I just went to Amazon right now and I Googled exercise bike. Yeah. Everything that pops up is like 250 to $350. Yeah, I'm sure it's not as high quality, maybe. But you're talking about it's just so far above the normal price of an exercise bike right. that I struggle to understand why they have a product that nobody else can compete with. Now, their brand is far and above. You know, the name Peloton now, it, it has great connotation to it. Well, you know, you know, it's a trip. So picture this like, you know, like as you, you inside your newsletter, you're building a long term portfolio, right? Sure. Now, there's no way to me you could put a Peloton into a long term portfolio. I, I mean, that, you know, the bottom line is, yes, you, can, you might get a year out of it, a year and a half yeah. out of whatever it is. But that is not going to be um, a growth aspect. You know, 10 are you years sure they're going to be around in five or 10 years? Right. Yeah. I, I, they don't have to be around in no, five years. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. I mean, I can I can go do five minutes of research and find companies that used to be all over the airwaves pumping exercise equipment that are no longer around. Right. Yeah. All right. So just, just, so all you have it's to a different do is business go... plan for sure. You know, they're yeah. taking it to billion dollars, man. It, it's to. But you got a twenty billion dollar valuation almost. You got to remember uh, garbage days, folks. I'll just go around your neighborhood in garbage days and see how many. You know, not as much. And, anymore because the, the you don't see the commercials as much but yeah. if you if you back down going seven or eight years ago do you remember on the streets how many of those bicycles and the the whole ball of wax is that oh. you can't even hey, get rid of Chuck them. Norris out there shame on me for not even knowing it what was his what was he out there touting for years and Christy Brinkley and Chuck Norris um I should know man but they had their own and I can't even think of it anymore which is amazing to think about <laughs> yeah stay right there folks Tom and I come right back get Dow right now down at 80 Nasdaq is up 91 S&P's are up five and a half gold's up 660 you get silver up 87 cents and king dollars down 362 come right back
Bestia. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. You get the Dow uh, down 63. Nasdaq is up 87. S&Ps are up six. And uh, Tom, we got we, we were talking about the uh, inflation, and I was talking about uh, Mosaic in general. One of the sure. targets turned us on to uh, this is a this is a nice setup, folks. This is Pilgrim's Pride PPC. Now, this is one of the largest chicken producers in the world. Okay. Um, and you know, the bottom line is that uh, the, this is a, this is a decent setup, man. I mean, uh, you you know. It hit a low a couple weeks ago, 1487. You know, we'll see where this shakes out. But you know, you're at 16. It makes it through the 17 number, and you get some action. And uh, what he's looking at here is that uh, you got the aspect of uh, let's see, uh, food food inflation. That's where he's going with it. A new outbreak yeah. of a swine flu in China, and after pork, chicken is a major staple. There's no doubt. Just in China, but chicken is a major staple. Period in the world, folks. Okay, so. Um, Myself included, I eat more chicken probably yeah. than anything, man. I should I should eat even more chicken. One of the healthiest things that you can eat for you, man. Tons of protein, very low fat. Yeah, um, and so. you know I've never owned this stock, but when this stock moves, folks, this moves in a, an incredible way. I mean, you can see this chart here, man. I mean, 
you know, it's a food stuff. So the bottom line is that it held the bottom of the consolidation. So the top of the consolidation, not the very top, but, you know, on a longer term deal, yeah, you get to 23 to 29 and you're at 16.48. So yeah, something to keep your eye on, man, because uh, if, it, if inflation is coming in here, you're going to see it. In, well, I think we already see it in food. I mean, the bar, you go in the meat, meat aisle of any supermarket and it's expensive. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. And just a quick check on natural gas, man, as we round it out. So we saw a quick spike on that news on the 9, uh, excuse me, on the 1030 number. Let me put it down to a five minute. And we've seen a pullback, man. We spiked all the way up to almost 220. And we're trading at about 215 right now in natural gas. Still can't handle it. Stay right there, folks. Think of Swim coming up next. And I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get him, folks.